Fight First Bible I presents The Judges. After Joshua's death, each tribe of Israel settled in its own territory. God entrusted an important mission to the tribes. Drive out all the Canaanites who still remained there. God did not want the Israelites to live with the Canaanites because their culture was morally corrupt. They worshipped false gods and they made child sacrifices to honor their gods. Some of the gods they worshipped were called Baal and Asherah. God intended the Israelites to be a holy people with a unique identity and purpose. But living together with the Canaanites, there was a risk that the Israelites would be influenced by these practices and turn away from God. The Canaanites were determined to stay in those lands. Get out of our territory! Uh, no. <gasps> oh. So rebel! Well, we have tried it. Yeah. Some yeah. tribes, instead of expelling them, began to live with the Canaanites, making pacts and alliances with them. Other tribes, on their part, were afraid of the mighty Canaanite army and did not dare to face them. In this way, the Israelites began to live in the midst of the Canaanites, disobeying God's instructions. Near Gilgal, the oh. angel of the oh. Lord yeah. appeared among oh. the Israelites oh my God. and said, I brought them out of Egypt and I brought them into the land that I swore to give to their ancestors. I had told you that I will never break my covenant with you and warned them not to make any agreement or alliance with the people of this land, but to tear down their altars. But you have disobeyed me. Why have you acted this way? Forgive me, Lord. We have strayed from your ways, mm -hmm. and we have offended you. Uh, have mercy on us. Uh, I want you to know that I will not expel the Canaanites from your presence. They will make your life miserable, and their gods will be a trap. When the angel of the Lord told them this, the whole town began to cry loudly. <laughs> That's why that place was called Bokin, which means crying place. They offered sacrifices to the Lord there. The nations that God spared to test the Israelites were the Philistines, Canaanites, those of Sidon, and Hivites. The Israelites lived among the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Jebusites, and Hivites. God left these nations as a challenge to the Israelites for the purpose of testing their fidelity and obedience by allowing them to remain in the Promised Land. It's been a long time. The generation that accompanied Joshua died, and another generation arose that did not know God or the works that he had done for Israel. These Israelites did what offends God, worship the images of Baal and Asherah. By living with the Canaanites, they began to see it as normal to worship the false gods of the Canaanites. This angered the Lord to such a degree that he allowed the Israelites to fall under the oppression and domination of the king of Mesopotamia. The Israelites were forced to serve him as slaves for eight years. Desperate, they finally cried out to God for help. God heard his cry and made a liberator emerge. This was Othniel, the same one who married Caleb's daughter. God's spirit came upon him, and so Othniel became the first judge of Israel and went out to war. The new leaders back then were called judges. Not judges of a court who make legal decisions, but 
regional leaders and rulers of Israel, chosen and filled with God's spirit. Hey, you just covered the most epic scene in the video. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. God delivered the king of Mesopotamia into his hands. And the Israelites were in peace for 40 years until Othniel died. Huh? Blah, 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 blah. Oh. And they did blah, evil blah, blah. again in the eyes of God. Ah! The Israelites fell under the oppression and domination of the king of Moab. <laughs> They had to serve him as slaves for 18 years. Desperate, finally they cried out to God for help and deliverance. Blah, 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 blah. God heard his cry and caused another deliverer to emerge. This was Ehud from the tribe of Benjamin, who was left-handed. Through him, the Israelites sent a gift to Eglon, king of Moab. Ehud had made a double-edged sword, which he hid in his right thigh blah, blah, under blah, blah. his clothes. Blah, 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 blah. He presented the gift to the king, who was ah. very fat, and told him, Your Majesty, I have a secret message for you. Mm. Shush! Quiet! ordered the king and all of their servants retired. So Ehud approached the king who was alone in the room and said, I have a message from God for you. When the king arose from his throne, Ehud stretched out his left hand, drew the dagger that he carried in his thigh. The message is that you deserve to die. Huh? And he stabbed the king in the belly. Ehud did not draw the dagger, since it was completely covered by the king's fatness. Then locked the bedroom door and escaped through the window. When the king's servants arrived, seeing the door of the room was locked, they said, Oh. Maybe he's using the toilet. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Then Ehud blew the trumpet. <laughs> and the Israelites came down from the mountain. Follow me, he ordered them, for God has delivered your Moabite enemies into your hands. Ah. They attacked and defeated the Moabites. That day, Moab was subjugated to Israel, and the land had peace for 80 years, until Ehud died. Eh? Ah. And the Israelites returned oh, to do evil blah, blah, blah. in the eyes of God. The people of Israel at that time were like a circle that always returned to the same thing. When they forgot the Lord, and worshipped pagan gods, God punished them and allowed other nations to oppress them. When the people repented of their sin and cried out to God, he sent a judge to free the people from oppression. Then he turned to God, and the people enjoyed a time of peace and prosperity until they sinned again. Has the judge already died? Yeah, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Oh. Blah blah blah. Oh, first Bible, make those who see us subscribe. Comment and like. Yes, make them share this content and follow us on our social media. Amen. Hey, 
see. We will greet our friends who have commented on our post. If you want a greeting in the next video, follow us and comment on the latest posts on our networks, Instagram and YouTube. The next greetings go to Bells, Christina Garrido, Ana Ureña, Alex Jimenez from New Jersey, United States, Cynthia Garcia from California, Fernando Jimenez from United States, King Genjineer, Jenny, Teddy, Adenam Bachu from Romania, Star Chloe, Willow, Rania Jimenez, Jocelyn Lynch from Barbados, Ashel, Israel Bote, Hiran from USA, Isaac Make, Victor Ajasov, Young Patriot, Lilium Marcella, Salary from Philippines, Jake Evans from Oklahoma, Amy Alicia from North America, Channel Debited. Thank you very much for all your great support!